Gentlemen, come in. Great show this afternoon, guys. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Langley. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, as ever, Harry, as ever. I've paid your wages into the bank just now, so that's all done. But Mr. Langley usually pays in cash. Yes, yes, that's right, Stan, but the, uh, the manager wants some changes around here. We're trying to keep everything above board now, paying our taxes and all that. So no more cash payments, I'm afraid. Anyway, how are things? Are you getting plenty of work? Excuse me. Why does he keep calling me Stan when it's Christian? Shh. Uh, yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, plenty of work. Yeah, we've um, we've just been fine tuning the act, you know, for tomorrow's show. Uh, the one after the bingo finishes. Yes, well, I've uh, been meaning to talk to you about that. You see, we don't actually need you to do your act tomorrow. The bingo's going on for a bit longer than usual. And then we've got the chap in that plays the 1812 overture on the three silver dessert spoons. <laughs> anyway, I've paid you for tonight and I've thrown in a little bit of a bonus for the weekend as a nice gesture. Wait, hang on. It's long, what do you mean exactly? Look, the punters have asked for longer bingo sessions. And the, the committee's had some discussions about the Saturday shows and, well, they want to see some changes. Look, I think you're great. I mean, really funny. But comments have been made about your act being a bit dated and a bit repetitive. I mean, it hasn't changed much, has it? Mr. Langley, they, these are classic Laurel and Hardy routines. I mean, we've perfected this act over many years. Yes, yes, perfected, yeah, but, but not changed. Wait, hang on. Mr. Langley, so what do you want exactly? Are you wanting rewrites? Or no, 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 not exactly, Stan. No. Nothing stays the same forever, does it? Life moves on. Things change. Change is inevitable. Look, you and Harry have had a great run. We've booked you dozens of times over the years. But, 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 we're having a rest. We're getting in some new faces. Look, the committee's decided, well, they've told me, not to rebook you for the next month, or the month after. Let's see how things go. I hope there's no hard feelings. The bloody world will be some hard feelings. After all the work we've done to support this club. Don't be like that. Look, there's fresh opportunities out there. Look, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Good day. Good day for me too. Well, that's it then. The end of an act. He don't know what he's talking about. Everybody loves Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, but we're not really Laurel and Hardy though, are we? We're the next best thing, aren't we? <sighs> Extending the bingo. And the Spoonsman, what's all that about? <sighs> well, he has a job to do. And look, look, Dad, I hate to admit it, but most of my friends, they've never even heard of Laurel and Hardy. I mean, <laughs> the films were made in the 30s and 40s. Don't be ridiculous. Everybody's heard of them. Besides, your friends are hardly the sharpest knives in the drawer, are they? Open the car door. What about the case? <sighs> okay. One, two, three. Oops. 
What was that? No, no, it, 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 what, it, what? It's not my fault. I was just putting the case in the back of the car. What have you done, lad? I, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I dropped the key on the ground. Have you got a spare key? Yes. Where is it? Kitchen drawer home. Come on. Where are you going? Get the bus. Not looking like this, people will just laugh at us. No, I don't see why they should. Nobody's laughed at us all afternoon. Come on, get the case. Oh, can we not just leave it in the car? It's too heavy. What, with the car unlocked? It's like Crime Central around here. Come on. Go for fish and chips tonight, Dad. That would be really nice. I was looking forward to that. I'm really hungry. But plans have changed a bit tonight, haven't they, Christian? And where will we get off the bus? Well, it's not my fault. I mean, loads of fresh opportunities. We might be able to buy fish and chips when the bus drops us off. If it's still open when we get there, mm. I'm salivating already. Just had an idea. Right, now look, what about this? Okay, we write some new material, right? We rehearse it and then we get our mate Howard to film it, right? Howard does this thing where he uploads it to YouTube. He adds special effects, he cuts down the wheat parts, right? Post it online, okay? We then contact as many clubs around the area as we possibly can do, right? We offer to do one free show and we also make sure they add the video, okay? From then on, we can get loads more bookings and therefore we get loads more publicity. Tell me that again. Right. Uh, right, um, well, we write some material, okay, and, and, and from then we get Howard to film it and stick it all on YouTube, right, we, we cut out the special effects, we keep the weak parts, we then contact as many bad clubs around the area that we possibly can do, we get loads of publicity, and then the next thing you know, Bob's your uncle. Hmm, I know exactly what you mean. I think you might be onto something there, lad. You're not as dumb as you look. Thanks, Dad. Hang on. Why are you saying I look dumb? Come on, let's get the bus. Don't forget the case. How long do you think it's going to be till the next bus arrives? What's the timetable say? Buses every 30 minutes, Monday to Saturday. Well, we've been here about 30 minutes already, so it should be any minute. What's wrong with your arm? Carrying that case, it's too heavy. I don't know why you brought such a large case. All we needed were the bandages and the hard boiled eggs and nuts for the hospital sketch. Carry a bag to dump for that. Yeah. Well, I didn't. You didn't what? Well, I didn't bring the case, you did. What do you mean? Well, you put the case in our dressing room and we've had it ever since we left the club. I didn't bring the case. You must have picked it up at the club, that's not ours. 
But I suggest we'll leave it when the bus comes. Mm. Oh, it must be Mr. Langley's case then. It what? Leave it? We can't just leave it here. What, what if it gets stolen? No, that's no concern of ours. We'll just forget about it. If it's stolen, it's stolen. Nobody will know what happened and... And nobody will be any other wiser. You hungry, Dad? Yes, son. I am very hungry. Sweet? No, thank you. I shall decline your generous offer. Yes, sir. Do you have the money for the fish and chips? You know very well you deal with the money. Why do you ask? Is that all you've got? Well, I thought Mr Langley was going to pay us in cash like he did last time. <sighs> have we got enough for the bus fare, oh? I don't know much. Ten? No, oh, okay, that's a twenty then. No, that's a ten. Mm. No. We've been together for a very long time now, haven't we, Christian? Yeah, we have indeed, Dad. Very, very long time. Ever since Mr Knowles choked on the bald egg in the hospital sketch. He'd worked with you for 15 years, hadn't he, Dad? And then all of a sudden, never again will I work with that ass. Yes. yes. I think he was going to swear then, wasn't he, Dad? Very likely, yes. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Oh, yeah. A lot. And in all that time, I think this must be one of the worst evenings of my life. This has tested our relationship to the very limit. No more job. You lost the car keys. No food. No money to get us home. All for the fish and chips. I mean, how much worse can things get? I know. We are very unlucky. Oh well. Come on. What are you doing? Well, considering we can't get the boss, we might as well walk home. Come on, it's only 12 miles. 12 miles? Whoa! What do you mean 12 miles? Have you forgotten my gammy hip? We have reached the very lowest point in our lives this evening. How can our situation become any more depressing? Oh! <laughs>
Hello, Maury. Yeah, it's Mr. Langley. Have you seen my blue suitcase that was in the club? Yeah, it seems to have disappeared. You haven't moved it, have you? It was in the back dressing room. Look, it's the Comic Con Superhero Weekend on Saturday. It's got all my Batman gear in it. The cape, the gloves, the mask. It's got the utility belt with the Batarang and the shark repellent. It's just disappeared. I'm going to look flaming ridiculous without it. Thank <laughs> you.